Hi and welcome to this video about DOS programming. The uh, emulator used here is DOSBox. Now this is a, a redo of an uh, earlier video which has had so many views. But here's the mount command. Uh, DOSBox. Now obviously you type in whatever you need to there. Uh, and go to C which is the hard drive in this case. Um, and CD ASIC which is a basic compiler with, with it's a subset of a basic uh, language uh, in computer programming basic an acronym which stands for beginners all-purpose symbolic instruction code is a family of high-level programming languages designed to be easy to use so I'll go to the ASIC uh, editor here and type in print uh, hello world and uh, go to file save as hello uh, compile it uh, exit uh, type in hello and there's the program running doing something trivial uh, but here's a less trivial program is written by a uh, you know, I don't know who half the people are who write these programs, but uh, this one's quite nice because what it attempts to do is it teaches you programming while doing a bit of programming yourself. And uh, we'll put on the, des the decimal maths and the extended maths and compile. And there's about 600 lines of code so it's too much for me to cover in a 15 minute tutorial um, but we'll go to uh, run run the program here and say p for print enter uh, Rudy wa was here and, and there's a syntax for, for doing that in basic um, so this little program could teach you a lot about this sort of thing, but I'll I'll, I'll go to quit here. And here's something interesting about this uh, particular software package. You press F1, press F1 again, and it's all the keywords with the logic described within, uh, you know, the the thing. And it there's a, it actually refers to uh, ASIC dot doc, which is a complete book about the uh, IDE. So I'll go to open something else here. Uh, Packpel. Um, now I know I showed this in the last tutorial, but it's quite a nice little game that's just sort of been whipped up by some guy who happened to have a bit of knowledge. Uh, run, run the program. Two. And it's got these little noise sound effects in the background as well. They sort of sound like twips, but um, it's a Pac-Man clone which uh, doesn't have any walls, and the ghosts just sort of f follow you around the screen. As far as you know, modern-day gamers, you know, they might think this is kind of boring, but this is what we played back in the day. Uh, escape, quit, file, exit, CD. And that's enough. Okay, uh, in this next part of the tutorial, I'll be showing you uh, Pascal, Turbo Pascal. Uh, Pascal is an influential imperative and procedural language designed in 1968 to 9, uh, published in 1970 by Nicholas Worth as a small and efficient language intended to encourage. Uh, good programming practices using structured programming and data structuring. So, uh, the uh, CD Turbo Pascal 302. Uh, the now you can get this compiler from my website, of course. Uh, it's completely free now um, because it was profitable a long time ago. Uh, Turbo. I always include the error messages work file 
uh, hello. Uh, at e for edit, and then uh, program hello uh, semicolon. That's the name of the program. Begin. Uh, right line. Open parenthesis. Open single quote. Hello world. Uh, close quote. Close parenthesis and a semicolon to indicate the end of the instruction. End. Uh, and uh, Control K and D to exit the editor. Uh, C to compile. R to run. And there it is. There's Pascal running the Hello World program. Um, now we'll have a look at some other stuff here. Uh, work file. <laughs> yeah, save that. Uh, Calend. Compile. Run. Uh, thirty five um, N. So that's a crude calendar program. Uh, now we'll have a look at something different here. Uh, work file, file I O. Uh, see for compile option. Oh, mm, compile options O. C for confile and then quit and then say C to compile and it makes an executable it's ones and zeros based on the source code and uh, work file list uh, C to compile and it does that uh, Q to quit uh, file IO uh, rudy.txt one text two something else uh, exit now uh, list rudy.txt and it shows that the you're writing files to and to the disk and reading them from the disk. So um, CD. In the next part of the tutorial, I'll be showing you C, which uh, was it's a language that was developed by Dennis Ritchie, who worked for Bell Labs during the early 1970s. Um, let's see, 201. Now I'll get the directory listing using DOS. DOS was the idea of DOS was taken from CPM by uh, Tim Patterson, and eventually Microsoft bought the idea and they developed DOS further after that. Um, so, yeah. Um, now I'll make a new uh, program. Standard header dot standard IO dot header uh, main open parenthesis close parenthesis open curly brace uh, the print f print f function hello world and end curly brace so we go to file and save uh, hello yes go to the compile menu compile the object compile the executable link it success so it's all good 
file, uh, quit. Now if I type in hello, it should say hello world. Alright, so we'll go back to Turbo C here, the IDE. Uh, file uh, directory, so we can see some files here, just any of them. Uh, running average dot C. Um, compile. Make exe. Link exe. File. Quit. Run. Average. So, uh, 1998, let's say baby's born on that date, uh, 2001, and the last child was born on 2008. So the average is 2002, minus 1 to quit, TC, alright. We're going to have a look at a game here. This is pretty interesting. Um, load Hanoi 16. It's a nice little puzzle game. It's uh, quite long, actually. This is the source code here, so it's like, what is it? A thousand lines long. Um, go to the compile menu, compile it. Make an exe link it, uh, file, quit, so Hanoi 16, and there's the usage notes, uh, Hanoi 16, uh, 12, 50, so here's, um, Towers of Hanoi doing a demo of, of gameplay um, it would take 4095 moves to move one disc now you can't put the rules of the game are you can't put a smaller disc under a larger disc and you can only move one disc at a time and the goal of the game is to move them from the leftmost peg to the rightmost peg okay so I'll hit escape and uh, F3 we'll make it uh, 3 pegs delay of 50 and we'll see it getting solved virtually straight away um, there'll be a little bit of shuffling around and then the and then the uh, game should sort itself out so um, the last couple of discs moved here and that's uh, the last move right there. Seven, seven moves. Okay, some texts I'd recommend would be the in An Introduction to the Art and Science of Programming Turbo Pascal Edition by Walter J. Savage. Great uh, comprehensive book. And of course, uh, NCC Made Easy by uh, Herbert Schilt.